Now component United Technologies just out with its quarterly numbers. It's a beat on both the bottom and the top lines. It looks like a dollar ninety one on a adjusted basis. The street was looking for just a dollar seventy one, so that's a beat of twenty cents. When you're looking at the revenue number, eighteen point four billion dollars versus the seventeen point nine eight billion that the street was expecting. So again, beats on both the top and the bottom lines. Also, raising its full year guidance, the company is now saying that it sees seven dollars and eighty cents to eight dollars on an adjusted basis per share. Uh, the street was already at seven dollars and ninety one cents, and this is even with this twenty cent beat. So maybe they're being conservative here. They do talk about what helped them. They said sales were up twenty percent with all four of their major businesses contributing to what they saw, and they also saw robust eight percent organic growth in the quarter. That's a really strong number. Um, talking about what was helping things, they say the eight points of organic growth, uh, sales growth, and fifteen points of acquisition benefit. Were offset slightly by three points of a foreign exchange headwind that they were dealing with too, uh, but again, strong numbers. The company is saying that they're raising their own guidance, even though it's really just getting it up to date with where the street was for the full year. Uh, and that stock right now looks like it's up by about one and a half percent. United Technologies again is a Dow component. The company also saying that they are on pace to be spinning off uh, some of the businesses that they talked about uh, before Otis and Carrier being going to be spun off as independent companies in the first half of 2020. But again, they say all four of their major businesses contributed to the growth that they saw in this quarter, and that Dow component now up by one and a half percent.